is Cameron. He's cool. Yeah. Where are you going, bitch? Did you just call me a bitch? Yeah. Oh, okay, I was just checking. You wash dishes, you dry dishes. You're having a little problem? We're just not compatible. What did you just say to me? You said you're a slut, all right. Women, can't live with them. Blood stains are too hard to get out. I'd just like to say that it's been an honor to know each and every one of you. So what's going on? Going on with what? You're walking around like nothing's wrong and everything's so honky dory, but I know you. Hey, don't worry about it, okay? I'm going out for a while. I have a terminal illness. I have two months to live. We're just gonna leave and not tell anybody? Not tell me? I'm your best friend and I wanna be there! I don't want you there, man! I don't want you anybody! So, what have you decided? About what? About what to do with your last two months. I got a message from God. I gotta do one last drawing. I'm not gonna let you spend your last days on Earth alone. I want everybody's last memories of me to be positive ones. Cameron, this is stupid. God didn't talk to you, and you're not on some crusade for redemption. Cameron, take a look around you. There's something behind all this. Haven't you ever felt that way? Like you said, man, you're my best friend. for the man of the hour. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. Hold. Oh, damn. Now that is a snow cone. Whatever you go. They didn't have what I wanted, so I got tangerines. 
you want some? No. What flavor did you want? Mai Tai. Oh, they don't have Mai Tai there. I know that, silly. The guys said they were out. No, I mean, they never had Mai Tai. Yeah, they did. No, I'm telling you, they never had Mai Tai there. But I've had it before. Well, you may have very well had it somewhere else, but not there. Yeah, it was there. Babe, I've been coming to this place since I was a kid. Every Sunday, my mom would all take us out here and we'd get a snow cone. And never in all those years did they have anything close to Mai Tai for the snow cone. Cameron, I'm not making this shit up. They used to have Mai Tai here and they used to eat it all the time. It's my favorite flavor. Hey, I like Mai Tai too, which is why I'm positive they never had it there. If they had it, I would have tried it a long time ago, which is why I've had every other flavor a thousand fucking times. <laughs> but the guy at the stand said that they used to carry it, but they don't anymore because it wasn't selling. Well, that's bullshit. What are you saying? He's lying? Cameron, he's a sweet little old man. He has no motivation for lying, especially for something so insignificant as Mai Tai flavored snow cone. Okay. First of all, I've never seen that guy before. Now, he may have worked at another place, and now that he's old and senile, he's getting his flavors confused. So I'm not saying he's lying intentionally. Second, there used to be a lady that worked there. I remember this because she had huge fucking tits. You don't forget shit like that when you're going through puberty. Fucking pig? First of all, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I used to eat Mai Tai fucking snow cones, and I used to buy them at that fucking stand. Hold on. No, this isn't even about Mai Tai or the old man anymore. This is about you questioning my validity. You're saying that my brain doesn't have the capability to retain trivial information such as what snow cone flavor I ate? Wait, I never questioned your validity. Not in so many words, but it was implied. All I'm saying is that I would have remembered if they had my Tai or not. Oh, you can remember what snow cone flavor you ate ten fucking years ago, but you can't remember our anniversary? Shows where your priorities are limp dick. Oh, back up! Our first date, our first kiss, the first time we fucked? Limp dick? We're talking about ice and Kool-Aid one minute, and the next minute you're attacking the stamina of my dick? Hey, the shoe fits. I'm about to take that pretty personal here in a minute. The cigarettes I smoked afterwards last longer than you do. Shut the fuck up! It's not my fault you spread like the grand fucking king. What the fuck did you just say to me? You said you're a slutter, right? You son of a bitch, I know, you did not just say that. What, your mind doesn't have the capability to retain what I said three seconds ago? Oh yeah, the same way you don't have the capability to give me an orgasm? Funny you should say three seconds because that's just about how long you can stay in. No wonder I have to go elsewhere to find dick. Hey, there's Dan. Did you fuck him? Yeah, I bet you did. Oh, who's that he's with? Oh, that's Johnny. Did you fuck him too? Oh, I bet they both got you together, kind of like a sandwich, huh? Bet they rung your bells down, bitch! I'm taking you home. Hey, anybody want to get their dick sucked? so early for hey it's almost two <sighs> exactly hey man your phone was ringing for like 10 fucking minutes what's the matter oh jesus christ i didn't hear it till a couple of seconds ago still a little fucked up if you know what i'm saying party last night fucking a man you should have been here <sighs> sorry but i was with she bitch you and her having a little problem you saying me and her having a little problem is like saying the hindenburg had a slight gas leak that bad huh yeah 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 hey listen what are you doing right now Having a little breakfast, why? Yeah, uh, Missy got a little, shall we say, vex. She stranded my ass out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Hey, Vivian! Vivian, get up, your mom called. Who's there? I don't know, I was just talking to Vivian. Say hi. Who is this? Cameron. Hey, right, Cameron, I gotta go, I gotta piss. Here's Dino. Hey, I left the seat up this time. Damn boy, pisses like an epileptic. Dino. I gotta pull a favor, man. Name it. 
Messi booted my ass over here on the west side. I need a ride. Damn, where are you calling from? The uh, little quickie mart next to Roland's house. The one on the corner? Yeah, give me about 10 minutes. But hey, you owe me one. Put it on my tab. Thanks, man. <sighs> What did he want? Missy booted him out of the car again. He needs us to go pick him up. Yeah. Women can't live with him. Blood stains are too hard to get out. Hey, Vivian, who's that? That? Uh, that's uh, Bailey. Hey, Bailey. Wake up, man. Good luck. That guy was so fucked up last night, he thought the monkeys from The Wizard of Oz were eating his hair. Hey, you got any cereal? Shit, boys got no tolerance. Bottom shell, no milk though. Hey, no problem. So you and the little miss got into another scuffle, huh? Yeah, over a snow cone. Snow cone? Damn, you guys fight over the smallest shit. How long till this one blows over? Yeah, I think this one's permanent. Yeah, right, whatever. No, seriously, if it's not one thing with her, it's another. And this is the straw that broke the camel's back. What happened? You guys used to be so fucking chipper all the time. Well, we're just not compatible. Two types of people in this world when it comes to conversation. You got the instigator and the reactionary. We're both reactionaries, which leads to some pretty shallow conversations. So, we always have to resort to sex. Oh, poor Cameron, you expect me to feel sorry for your ass? Well, let's be honest. There's only so far you can take a relationship based on sex. I think we hit that mark a long time ago. He's right, you know, that's what caused the problem with my dad. No, what caused the problem between your parents was your dad's an alcoholic and your mom's a fucking bitch. It's not that fucking complicated. Dude, don't call my mom a bitch. Hey, you had to hear it sometime. Fuck you. Stop the dramatics. Everybody knows your mom's a bitch. Even you said so. Yeah, but you calling my mom a bitch and me calling my mom a bitch are two completely fucking different things. Would it help if I called your mom a bitch? You know what? Fuck the both of you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, hey, do me a favor. Drop me up at the hospital. We got an appointment. Your weekly checkup? No problem. How's he doing? I don't know, he doesn't like to talk about it. Not even to me. I hope he's okay. Yeah, me too.
early tomorrow to open. I'm giving you a lot of leeway, so don't give me this short notice shit, because I don't want to hear it. Better be there. Bye. Hey, Cameron. Don. Just reminding you the rent was due two days ago, and for every extended day, it's another $50. Oh, and Miss Pettis downstairs called in the other night complaining about excessive noise coming from your apartment. We'll talk later. Bye. Hello, this is Patty Miralis from Memorial Hospital. I'm calling for Cameron Jenkins. When he came for your appointment on the 15th, he wrote a check for $114. That check bounced, and your bank was unable to cover it. Our office hours are 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Please come by so that we can take care of this. Thank you. End of messages. dishes, you dry dishes. You give them to us, we give you more. You wash those, you dry those. And that's just like a continue. I don't want to see any more of this shit. That's what let up, will ya? We only have so many dishes and we're coming up on lunch hour. Damn, you've got to be the slowest dishwasher I've ever seen. Oh, uh, Liz, I was going to tell you something. Oh, shit, I forgot what it was. Oh, hey, I remember now. Fuck you. Karen! Guaranteed to spice up your sex life. Tasty, tried, and true. Well, I wouldn't say anything spicing up. It's just. Well, the sex has kind of become standard, you know? And there's no variety in it. Not that it's dull. Hey, I know, I've been there. I mean, it's still great, don't get me wrong. But it's just not enough anymore, I understand. I mean, there's only so many positions and places you can do it in. And we're not into that kinky yes and that bondage shit, you know? I, mean, I don't want to turn it into a Barnum Bailey's act. Which is why this is perfect for you. It adds a little color and a little oomph without violating the same degree of the bedroom. Because I don't want to disrespect her or anything. Oh, fuck respect. You have to have respect. I mean, those fucking 50 cent condoms you get at a titty bar, now that's the great to me. Besides, do you think those things are really from friends? I don't think so. Nah, nah, nah. This is good, clean, really fun. And afterwards, it's good to all right, let's see the lab. All right, first of all, we have the glow pump. Excuse me. All right, this will run you about 16 cents in any convenience store. It's a little bit harder to unwrap, but that's good because it's airtight and you know nobody's fuck with it. All right, um, let me stop you for a second. Why, why lollipops? I mean, why not um, gummy worms or something? Shit, gummy worms? They're too flimsy. They dissolve way too easily. Besides, I don't know about you, but the last thing I want to do is going after a piece of broke off if you know what I'm talking about. Besides, they're big root killers. You can't use chocolate because that's too damn messy. Unless that's your thing. Now lollipops, those are perfect. They've got a nice handle on them, you know, so you can grip it. It's got a good candy coating. Besides, you can eat it afterwards. That's your thing. Okay, proceed. All right, uh, what was that? Blow pops. Oh, right, blow pops. Now, blow pops are good because they come in two sizes, medium and large. Now the large may be a little too big for some girls, and so may the medium for that matter. If that's the case, you can resort to considerably smaller dum-dums for the inexperienced. But I wouldn't recommend it myself, because the stick tends to bend too easily. You need to stick with a more reliable blow pop. Now the blow pops are good, but there's no texture. They're more of a beginner lollipop. You might want to consider the Jolly Ranchers. I know it looks like it hurts, but trust me, it does the job. The only problem is it's a little shorter than the others, but that's no big deal. Because the G-Spot's just a couple of inches up in there. I knew that. Oh, of course you do. Now, last but not least, my personal favorite, the Tootsie Roll Pop. Good size, nice and sturdy. Most importantly, great for her play. The only problem is I can't find it for sale individually anymore. I have to resort to buying an entire bag. Yeah, plenty. Thanks, guys. Hey, no problem, that's what I'm here for. Look. 
Hello? Dino, got any weed? Is that Cameron? Yeah, I got off work early. I want to get high. Now I know this isn't you. I'm serious. Can you spark me up? Hey, you're breaking up. I'm on my cell phone. Can you do it or what? Well, I can do it. The question is, will I? Come on. How often do I ask you to do this? Never, which makes me wonder why you want it now. Why the change of heart? I had a bad day. I want to drown my sorrows, but alcohol takes too long. You're serious? I wouldn't joke about something like this. You're always doing it, and when you're not, you're always talking about how you wish you were. I want to see what all the hype's all about. What about what you said about it killing brain cells? Man, fuck what I said before. I want to get high. You mean now? Yeah, now. Well, I don't have any on me. We'll have to go run an errand. Man, whatever it takes. All right, well, come on in. Let me get my shoes. I mean, I don't want to cause problems or anything. No, but just don't say anything. Try not to look so damn wholesome. What the hell are you doing? Button your shirt back up. You look tough. Yeah, well, you look like a homosexual, so just don't. Dino! How's it going? Hey, what the fuck's wrong with your eyes? What? They're like all red and shit. Really? Uh, kind of paranoid, aren't we? Man, don't do that shit to me. This is your gay friend, man. This, this is Cameron. He's cool. Well, I hope so, man. Let's go inside. It's hot. So how's business, been, Santos? A little slow, man, but it's Lynn. You can expect that kind of shit this time of year. You'd be surprised, man, how many people give up drugs for Lynn. Mark my words, though. The day after Easter, there's going to be a line outside the front of my door. Shit, I'll probably have to pass out numbers like a deli. On the third day, Jesus rose up. Huh? You won't be the only one. First time sport? That obvious. Bringing more people to the dark side of the forest, huh, Dino? Hey, it wasn't my idea. He wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you want, man? Half OZ? Yeah, that ought to do for now. May I interest you in something a little more potent? Talk to me. Cemetery weed. Holy shit! Cemetery weed? Why do they call it cemetery weed? Well, friend, see this little joint right here? Now, if this joint were rolled with the contents of that bag, he who smokes the entire J would be in a world of shit. I'm talking the flu multiplied times ten, okay? Now, don't get me wrong, man. If taking the small quantities, this shit will fuck you up. You'll love it. Primo weed. Then, uh, why roll them so big? <laughs> you know that there's some tribe of Indians who smoke weed? I mean, but they just, they don't smoke it because it's good. I mean, they do it because it's, it has more meaning. It's like a ceremonial thing to them. You know, it, passing of the peace pipe means camaraderie, friendship, all that good shit. Same principles apply here. I mean, one person can't smoke this entire joint. It takes sometimes two, maybe three people. That is the point of cemetery. Never knew smoking weed was so deep. Never underestimate a pothead, buddy. Still want a half ounce? Uh, you better make it a 20. Here you go. Excellent. And on the grow up. Baby, you're the greatest. <laughs> So where y'all gonna go, man? Probably just back to my house. I was just about to spark up right here, dude. I mean, wanna join me? All right.
Hello? Police department now, nah, man. I'm always calling my house, dude. I'm looking for the police department. They're like one number off. Watch this one. Like. Hey, man, this ain't the police department, dude. Do you want the number? Yeah, dude, go get a pen. Okay, you got a piece of paper? Okay, you ready, man? All right, here you go. Nine one one. Somebody order a pizza? Shit, motherfucking Pizza Hut's here. You get the munchies, boy? Shit, hold on, Tex. Where the fuck you think you're going? You call for a fucking pizza? Yes, yes. What's on it? Uh, What's uh, on it, motherfucker? Uh, I don't know. Uh, pe pepperoni? Pepperoni? God damn, I love pepperoni. What else? Uh, uh, mushrooms, uh, sausage. Onions? No, 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 onions. Good. I hate onions. Fuck up my bread. What the fuck? You signing a peace treaty or something? Shut the hell up and go check the bedroom. Just, just hurry up, that's all I'm saying, okay? You want the fucking debate team or something? No. Hey, shut the fuck up. And you, you said there's no onions on there, right? Because I don't want to open that box and find that shit, or I'll have to ride your ass like a Lone Ranger on silver. You got that, boy? What the fuck else is on it? That, 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 green peppers, I think. You think? I don't want you to think. I want you to fucking know. Yes, yeah, yeah, green peppers. So how's he doing, Mr. Pizza Man? Is that right? I don't make them, sir. I just deliver them. 
Sir, am I wearing a fucking tie? How much does he owe you? Uh, twelve ninety-five, sir. All right, man, get up. Get up, I say. Get out your wallet. Twelve ninety-five, man. Pay me that motherfucker. What are you Jewish? Tip that motherfucker. A actually, the tip's already included in the price, sir. Don't fight me. I'm giving you a bigger tip. Damn. Give that man the nice five-dollar bill I saw sticking out there. Now get your ass back on the fucking floor! Thanks! Well, thank you, Mr. Pizza Man. And you have a good night. Give the man a fairly well. G good night! <laughs> that fucking guy dropped the load. I've never seen anybody run like that. Dude, how come I always gotta play the big pimps? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, no green peppers. <laughs> Shut fuck up. Fuck. So Bailey and I were driving behind Walmart, and we're fucked up. Fucked up, dude. We just come from Bob's. It's about two o'clock in the morning. We've been smoking up a storm. We're baked as shit. So I'm driving Bailey home, and I'm weaving all the fuck over the road. I almost hit a rabbit. So I'm going 35 and a 55, and it's plain as day. I'm fucked up, and I'm thinking to myself the whole time, I sure hope no cop passes me, right? The thought hadn't left my head when I see these headlights. These fucking bright headlights coming up over the road and they're gonna pass me. Now this is a very narrow road. And as the car gets closer, I kind of veer off the road to avoid hitting it. I guess I overcompensated because I damn near ran off the fucking road into a fucking cornfield. So I get back on the road and I see the car as it passes me and it's a fucking cop. A fucking cop. Now, like I said, we've been at Bob's, right? We're all fucked up. And I got about a dime's worth of weed with me. And I'm looking at the cop and it does a fucking U-turn. So Bailey's shitting bricks, right? And he's asking me, what do I do with the sack? I don't want to try to hide it because I got a record. I know if they pull me over, they're going to search the fucking car. So I look in the mirror again and the motherfucker's damn near on top of me. He turns his lights on. And without a word, me and Bailey just start eating the weed, right? Just eating it, right? I'm taking handfuls, you know, I'm like shoving it in my mouth trying to get rid of it all, man. I mean, we don't want to get, get caught, but at the same time, we're eating the weed, dude. <laughs> I was crying, man. So we finish up every last bud, every last seed, right? Didn't leave nothing. Bailey shoves the bag down his pants. Because yeah, there's not a tough guy alive, we'll search you there. I pull over real calm like, right? And the motherfucker passes me going about 70. When he been trying to pull us over? He must have gotten some fucking call over the radio or some shit. So we ate that entire bag for nothing. For nothing, dude. She told me. Yep. She wouldn't have said anything unless she intended on sleeping with me. You ever think she told you in order for you to lose interest? Oh shit. Oh, really? Alright, hey, can I have everybody's attention, please? Alright, everybody grab a beer or a shot glass or an alcoholic beverage of choice. Thank you. Alright, first of all, I'd like to thank Bailey for allowing us to use his facilities while his parents are away for the weekend. Yeah. All right, it takes a big man to clean up uh, broken glass and pools of vomit while still hungover, so everybody drink to that. Hey, hey. hey wait, 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 there's still more. There's still Damn. Hurry the fuck oh. up. I'd also like to thank Barrett's mom for not charging me for two in a row. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> All right, all right, all right, but seriously.
seriously, <laughs> seriously. It's not often that we all get together like this. I mean, well, as a matter of fact, we haven't been like this since high school. So, and for all we know, this will be the last time we're all together like this. Amen. And I'd just like to say that it's been an honor to know each and every one of you motherfuckers. That's funny. Except for you. <laughs> Drink <laughs> up! If I had to lose a mind, if I had to touch feeling, I would lose my soul. I got one for you. Let's say you meet the woman of your dreams. Wait, wait. What'd she look like? She's the woman of your dreams. So come on, I need something better than that. Describe her. How the fuck should I know what the woman of your dreams looks like? I need a middle picture. Is she tall? I don't know. Yeah, very tall. Big rag, firm ass, pouting lips. she blonde or brunette? Blonde. I like brunettes better. Jeez, will you let him tell the fucking story? Thank you. All right. She's the woman of your dreams. Beautiful, witty, everything you could ever want in a woman. All right, you've been seeing this woman for about six months, and you're just about to have sex for the first time. Wait, wait. You've been going out with this woman for six months now, and she's just now gonna put out for the first time? Will you shut the fuck up and let him tell the story? Hey, all I'm saying is the woman of my dreams would've put out way before six months. You wonder why you're single? All right, you're just about to have sex. You got the candles, romantic atmosphere, everything. And she looks you in the eye and she says, wait, there's something I gotta tell you. Aw, oh, Jesus Christ. She looks you straight in the eyes, and the woman you love tells you, I'm a hermaphrodite. Wait, you mean she's got a dick? I thought you said this was a woman of my dreams. She is. Well, a woman of my dreams sure the fuck ain't having no dick. Yeah, but you didn't know that when you first fell in love with her. I mean, wouldn't you be able to see it, like a bulge or something? Man, I don't fucking believe you. It's just a hypothetical question, man. I, I don't think it's very believable. I, I don't even know any from Aphrodite's. Can I finish for fuck's sake? Where was I? She just told you she had a dick. Right. Now my question is, would you suck her dick? Well, that's a tough one. The hell it is. Absolutely not. Okay, why not? Well, why don't I want to suck somebody's dick? Hmm, let me think. Wait a minute, she's got a pussy too, right? Right. Well, it's complicated. Let's say, as in common with all hermaphrodites, that only one organ works and she can only come through her dick. Oh, that is disgusting. Well, if that's the case, I'd have to say yeah. You sick bastard, you'd suck dick. I'd suck her dick. I mean, it's not like sucking a guy's dick. It was sure it would take some getting used to. Getting used to? <laughs> Living next to a sewage plant I could get used to. Going to prison and getting fucked up the ass on a regular basis. Yeah, I could eventually get used to that. But sucking my girlfriend's dick, I'm sorry. Well, it's not like you'd be sucking a guy's dick. Hey, man, dick is dick, no matter what it's attached to. Yeah, but you'd be sucking the dick of the woman you love. Man, do you listen to yourself sometimes? Well, you asked a question, man. What's your view? I don't know. I guess I'd really have to be in love with her. But if that's the only way she can come... Well, besides, we've all thought about sucking dick. And think about the variety in the bedroom. Man, we really need to change the subject. I got this mental picture of me sucking dick in my head, and it just really doesn't need to be there. <laughs> How can you be so closed-minded? You mean you really deprive a woman of an orgasm just because you're uncomfortable sucking dick? It's not my fault she's a fucking freak. It's not her fault either. All right, so maybe I'd whack her off. That's it. Selfish bastard. <sighs> oh, shit, shit, what the fuck? Right. You all right? Dude, you all right? What's Shit, Cameron, are you all right? Hey, uh, I'm all right, I'm all right. Come on, help me, help me. Hey, look back up. Hey, Barrett, get him some water. Yeah, Let sure. me get him to the couch.
Thanks. Hey! So what's going on? What's going on with what? What's going on with the Save the Whales campaign? You motherfucker, what's going on with you? What are you talking about? Are you a gorilla? What? Are you a gorilla? No. Well, you're sure throwing shit at me like you're a gorilla and I don't appreciate How it. How am I throwing shit at you? You're feeding me all this bullshit, acting like nothing's wrong and everything's so honky fucking dory, but I know you. I've known you for 10 fucking years. And if there's two things I know, it's one, peace are good for you, and two, you're fucking hiding something. You, you fucking quit your job, you start smoking pot, you're giving these grand speeches like you're running for office or something. So what's going on? Hey, don't worry about it, okay? Don't worry about it? How can I not worry about it? You're walking around with this fucking look in your eyes. You're throwing everything you've ever worked for away, your job, your girlfriend, your art. You act like you're moving to some fucking other state or something. And then there's your condition. You're having these fanning spells. You're... Jesus Christ. That's to do with your condition, doesn't it? I, uh, I went to the doctor the other day for my checkup. <sighs> Two months. Two months? Jesus, I always knew, but... Two months? Yeah. Happy now, motherfucker! I thought about it. I'm just, I'm gonna go far, far away and I'm... So that's it, huh? You're just gonna give up. The world gets the best of you and you're just gonna throw in the towel. Well, I thought you were made of sterner stuff, but obviously I was wrong. But if you wanna give up, fine, give up. Pussy out, I don't give a fuck. Man, don't. Don't what? You expect me not to say anything? You expect me to just sit by and watch? What would you have done if I wouldn't have found out? Were you just gonna leave and not tell anybody? Not tell me? What would you have done if I would open the paper the next day? And uh, what do you know? The stock market's up, chicken's on sale, and Cameron's dead! I'm your best fucking friend and I want to be there! I don't want you there, man! I don't want anybody! <sighs> you don't know what it's like, man. To walk down the street, pass out without any warning. To have to endure these headaches, make me want to feel like my head's gonna fucking explode. To not be able to live a normal life, not be able to hang out with my friends because of this. I don't want to be remembered like that, man. It's... Poor Cameron, what a shitty hand life dealt him. Oh, I really felt sorry for him. Man, fuck that! I want everybody's last memories of me to be positive ones. If that means having to do this now while I'm still capable of it, then so be it. Because if you think my condition is bad now, man, it's all downhill from there. I like to think of myself as carefree, as I look at that cup as half full, live my life to the fullest. But I'll be goddamned if I'm gonna spend the rest of my days on this earth in a fucking hospital bed. I'm not gonna let it get the best of me. And fuck you, man. Fuck you for trying to make me feel guilty. That's not fair. You don't have any clue. If you had to go through what I'm going through right now, you wouldn't be here. So don't preach me. Don't condemn me for this choice. Just accept it. I can't do that. But I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry you had to find out. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Look. I'm not gonna leave till tomorrow afternoon, so I'll give you a call. But I'm tired now.
open the door. Okay, I'm packed. Let's go. The fuck do you think you're doing? I'm going with you. Dino, you were there last night. The whole conversation. That wasn't your twin, am I correct? Look, don't bitch. It's too early in the morning and I've got a fucking hangover. Dino. No, take this. No. Dino. Dino, I'm not kidding. You've talked about a lot of things before, but you're not going to talk me out of this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it alone. Cameron, you've never done anything alone your whole life, except for sex. You're an outgoing, sociable guy. And since when are you going to give up the opportunity to hang out with your best friend? Hey, it'll be fun. <sighs> no, you're not going with me, so just forget about it. Are you finished? Okay, listen to me. I understand when one is faced with a situation in which you're faced with, the natural thing to do is to want to seclude yourself. And I understand. But you have to get over this. The bottom line is, I'm not going to let you spend your last days on Earth alone. Fuck that. What kind of friend would I be if I did? Besides, I need you to help me with this shit. It's heavy. What the hell did you bring all that shit for? Well, I didn't know where we were going. So I just kind of packed everything. Besides, where are we going? I don't know. You don't know? You wouldn't understand. But am I a fucking idiot? Try me. All right, you want to hear it? I got a message from God. From God? Well, that's great. What did he tell you? Wait, let me guess. You have to go to Dagobah and see Kyoto. You see? Look, I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. No, forget about Come it. Come on, don't be like that. It, it wasn't a verbal message, or even a written one for that matter. It's just, I got to do one last drawing. Okay, of what? I don't know. I think I'm supposed to find it. Find what? Whatever it is I'm supposed to draw. Well, how are you supposed to know when you find it? I don't know. I just will. Look, I know it sounds fucked up. Look, I don't care if you feel you have to pay bucks or shorts on the Statue of Liberty. I don't care. Do what you want. But you know my views on God. <sighs> yeah, I know. I don't understand. You're not very religious either. That's not the point. The point is I'm coming with you whether you like it or not. So you can either keep bitching and whining or you can just accept it. But either way, I'm coming with you. And if you're hell-bent on doing this, then I guess I'm just gonna have to throw you one hell of a bon voyage party. Hey! Hey! Did you just call me a bitch? Yeah, is that gonna be a problem? No, I was just checking because my name's Mitch. And for a second there I thought you said Mitch, and if you did, I was just wondering how you got my name. But you said bitch, right? Yeah. Okay, I was just checking.
I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna zoo, 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 boo, boo. If you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. Make it last forever. Friendship never ends. Shut up, dude. I hate that song. <laughs> Okay, I know this sounds weird, but uh, given the circumstances, after you uh, well, you know, what do I do with you? Well, with you. You know, I'm glad you asked me that. I've been giving it a lot of thought. First, I thought about being buried, but I think the idea of a bunch of maggots and worms running through my body just really freaks me out. You know. Plus, I don't even know where I'd be buried because, you know, both my parents were cremated. Where's your parents' ashes? Oh, nobody. They, uh, they spread them over Niagara Falls where they first met. Mm. Romantic? So, uh, you want to be cremated too? Yeah, I think so. Mm. What about the ashes? What do I do with those? Well, I want you to have them. You want me to have them? Yeah. You obviously haven't thought this through. Why do you say that? Because you've seen the way I live. I, what, I mean, what if I spill you or something? Dino, I'll be dead, man. I won't feel a thing. Yeah, but I'll feel bad. <laughs> Fuck, why me? Well, you know, my family, they're... They're either dead or they don't care. Like you said, man, you're my best friend. You know they're gonna think that I killed you. They're gonna think I dragged you into the middle of nowhere and shot you in the head and then burned the body. Hey, you wanted to come along for the ride. Don't worry about it, I got it all covered. I got a letter along with my will, plus my doctor knows. I told your doctor. Well, I kind of hinted around it. I, I think he already knew. I really don't think he blames me. So, what about afterwards? I mean, you have an urn or something? or something I can keep you in? coffee can. You know how I love coffee. I'm not gonna keep you in a fucking coffee can. Why not? You can be Henry Miller and I'll be a nice man. This time it'll be the doctor we'll stay together in. What? Fucking coffee can. Why not? Right, so I'm fucking watching Super Friends the other day and I noticed something, right? I mean, it's like Batman and Robin really added a fucking element. I mean, all the fucking superheroes, they have superpowers. I mean, like, Superman can fly, you know, Flash Gordon, well, he's fucking fast. Aquaman, well, shit, he could live underwater for years. But these two fucking guys, all they do is wear belts. I mean, what the fuck can they do against the Legion of Doom? Okay, so I'm watching TV, right? And then all of a sudden I realize, you know, it's like, boom, there I was, half naked in the middle of this cucumber patch. Hey. Hey, Cameron. Um, I'll be right back. Hi, how are you two girls doing? Fine. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Um, look, before, before you get the wrong idea, I just want to let you know that uh, I'm not trying to pick you up. This isn't a line, it's just that, um, um, well, uh, you see, me and my friend were sitting over there, uh, the two of us, and we saw that uh, you two girls sitting here, and I'm really not very good at this, I'm sorry. Um, okay. I was sitting there the past 15 minutes, and I was just, I was staring at you, and I know you must have seen me because I wasn't doing a very good job of trying to hide it. And, that's not my style. I mean, I'm hungry, and I ordered this big-ass steak, oh, sorry, a big steak with all the trimmings, right? It's sitting right in front of me, and, and I'm not paying any attention to it because I was sitting there, I was staring at you. I was mesmerized. So, so I said to myself, I said, Cameron, because that's my name, I, I, I said, Cameron, you're not from here. Chances are you'll never have the privilege of seeing this woman again. So I just had to come over here and, and make sure that uh, do you know how beautiful you are? I don't expect you to answer that, but you're, you're gorgeous. And 
forgive me, but you strike me as the type of person who doesn't hear that nearly as often as you should. Probably because people you know take that for granted, but you need to hear it. And maybe hearing it from a complete stranger is better than hearing it from anyone else, because I've got nothing to gain or lose, so you know I'm being sincere. This really isn't coming out the way I intended it to, but uh, it would be a, a, a tragedy for you to walk around on this earth and not know how beautiful you are and what an impact you're having on everyone, because you're certainly having one on me. I, I just thought you should know. I'm going to go back to my table now. Enjoy your whatever. What the fuck did you just say to her? I uh, told her she was beautiful. And that fucking took five minutes. Well, I elaborated on it. God, I've always wanted to do that. Just go up to a girl, be honest with her, and not have to worry about anything. I mean, I gotta admit, that was a pretty ballsy stunt. She gotta have big balls to do something like that. Big balls. Plus, wasn't it? Can't believe I did that. Dude, swallow. 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 <coughs> Yeah. Are you enjoying that? It's a little dry. Oh, this is this is Dino. This is my friend Dino. Uh, Dino, this is um. <laughs> you know what? Danya. Danya, Dino, this is Danya. Listen, here's my number. If you're not doing anything tomorrow. Um, actually, I'm not gonna be here much longer. Oh, I understand. Well, what are you doing now? Now? Um, me and my friend over there, we were just going to go back to my place and watch a movie. You? Um, on top of finishing my steak, uh, nothing. Uh, you guys want to join us, hang out, watch a movie? Sure.
dude, check this out. Well, that's one of your better ones. She's hot. Tell me about it. So is that the drawing? I think so. What are you doing? This is it. Now, this is the end. It doesn't get any better than this. You mean here, now? It's as good as place as any. Out in the open field, stars shining above us. Perfect. But, but what? Yeah, but I didn't think tonight. Look, what, what about tomorrow? Look, we'll go to Six Flags. We'll have a good time. Dino, we'll have a Dino. He knew this was coming. This is the whole reason we came out here. You said you were going to show me one hell of a week and you did. I'm glad you came, despite what I said before. But you also said you weren't going to interfere. You're not going to change my mind. I've been preparing myself, and this is it. Thanks. I thought you were going to kiss me there for a minute. <laughs> Well, it was fun. I can't watch this. Dino, don't leave me. I can't stand here and let you do this. Good, because I don't want to. Here, you do it. No, that's not what I meant. Hold it there. There's a safety point and shoot. I'm not going to shoot you. Well, I don't feel right doing it. Oh, and it's fucking second hand to me? Look, if you're going to do it, do it, but I'm not going to be involved. You're already involved now. Shoot me, damn it. You flinched. Of course I flinched. It's a gunshot. I've never been around him, okay? This time, get a little closer. I don't want to get brains on my shirt. Aim up for the head. It's, it's best to go quickly and painlessly. Go ahead. What the fuck am I doing? I can't do this. Dino, you're making this difficult. Good. Look, if you're going to do this, you're going to do it alone. I wash my hands of it. All right, give me the gun. No. Give me the gun. No. Give me the gun. No. Give me it. What the fuck are you doing? Cameron, there's got to be another way. Dino, we've talked about this. Cameron, this is stupid. God didn't talk to you, and you're not on some crusade for redemption. Where are you going? You know I can't walk that fast. Can I get you something? Coffee. Hmm. Wait, wait. wait what's this? It's cocoa. Uh, I heard coffee. I know, but you look like a guy who could use some cocoa. Besides, coffee stinks up your breath, stains your teeth, and you don't need all that caffeine. Well, I'm sold. Cocoa it is. Anything else? If I order salad, are you going to bring me chicken chow mein? Of course not. We don't serve Chinese food. <sighs> no, I'm okay. Ah, oh, I see. <coughs> you see what? I've seen that sigh before. Women problems? <laughs> No, uh, nothing like that. I'm just confused. Want to talk about it? With you? I don't even know you. I know. See, sometimes it's good to share your problems with a complete stranger. 
I don't know anything about you or the situation that you're in, so you can expect a completely unbiased response from my side. And after you've told me, you won't have to worry about what I think about you because chances are we'll never see each other again. Besides, I'm a psychology major and I need to practice listening to people's problems. So in a way, you'd be doing me a favor. On top of all that, I'm a great listener. I don't want to talk about it. I don't know what that means. See, sometimes when people say, I don't want to talk about it, it means they really do want to talk about it. But sometimes, not frequently, but sometimes, people say they don't want to talk about it, and they really don't want to talk about it. Now, I don't know what you're thinking, but I'm not thoroughly convinced that you don't want to talk about it. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over there and help that guy right there. And when I come back, I'm going to ask you the same question again. And if you don't want to talk about it, then say so, and I'll leave you alone. But if you do, I'll lend you my ear, okay? Be right back. Want to refill? Sure. Let's go. So, want to talk about it? Angela. Cameron. Um, won't you get in trouble sitting down on the job? Take a look around. It's two in the morning. Business isn't exactly booming, in case you hadn't noticed. Go ahead. Well, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. I've been around. I've seen some pretty fucked up shit. Sorry, pardon the language. No problem. But it sounds like a pickup line. Don't worry. I won't take it like one. <clears throat> you see, um... I have a terminal illness. I have two months to live. Was that the part you thought would sound like a pickup line? Yeah. Thought so. Um, what do you... Uh... Sorry, I'm really religious. I was just saying a little prayer for you. So, when did you find this out? <sighs> About a week ago, but... I've known for a while there wasn't much time. So, what have you decided? About what? About what to do with your last two months. <clears throat> well, that's kind of why I'm here. What do you mean? Well, this is going to sound a little weird. I mean, weirder than the whole terminal illness thing. Go on. A couple days ago, I... I think I got a message from God. What? Nothing, it's just I... I expect you to, to react a little different than you did. Everyone else I told thought I was crazy. I don't think you're crazy. I get messages from God all the time. Really? Yeah. I mean, he doesn't talk or anything. But I just get a feeling, and then I know what I'm supposed to do. Is that what yours was like? Yeah, I've been driving all over the, the state for the past week and a half. Just over a feeling I had. My friend thought I was fucking crazy. Oh, that's good. Follow your instincts. So what are you supposed to do? I, I like to draw. Oh, you're an artist. I guess. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm supposed to do one last drawing. I don't know what of, but it's like, you know, I'll know it when I see it. I thought I found it, but I'm beginning to doubt myself. I'm starting to think my friend was right. I'm having these delusions of grandeur, but I don't know. You don't really believe in God, do you? What? You don't think he's real. I just sat here and told you that you got a message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't really believe. You want to hear my opinion? You're scared. You're afraid of what's going to happen to you after you die. You're not completely convinced that there is an afterlife. So, in your desperation and search for a definitive answer, your subconscious need for a God has presented itself in the form of this hallucination. You still with me? Now, you don't want to leave this world without some sort of guarantee that there's something beyond. So this supposed message from God is simply a manifestation of your thirst for confirmation of a supreme being. Of course, that's just my opinion. You're... Thanks. So, you're saying... I went through all this, driving all the way out here, just to find proof that there is a God? Makes perfect sense to me. You do some drawing, then persuade yourself into believing that it's the fulfillment of some prophecy so you can die happy. It also gives you the justification for committing suicide. It's the result of three years of psych classes.
Cameron, take a look around you. You're an artist. Haven't you ever been doing a drawing or painting or something? And just stop and really look at your subject matter, whether it be a sunset or a living thing or whatever. And the harder you look, the clearer it becomes to see that this couldn't have been created by chance or fluke. There's something behind all this. And it's an eye-opening revelation. You could kick yourself for not having seen it sooner. Haven't you ever felt that way? You're out of cocoa. Let me take this for you. Oh, Angela. Check, please. Fuck, man, why the hell did you take off like that? You had me scared. I was shitting my pants trying to find you. Stopped at every fucking Denny's and IHOP on the way over here. I was fixing to call the cops. I didn't know if you'd done anything. Why the hell are you smiling? I'm happy. You're happy? I'm happy. Well, that's fucking great. That's just fantastic. But it's almost 3 o'clock in the morning, so can you be happy someplace else? Someplace, like, with a bed? Oh, wait, I want you to meet someone. Where is she? Who? Oh, my, my waitress, Angela. She was supposed to bring my check. I don't see her. Slimy bastard. Excuse me, sir. Um, do you know where Angela is? Who? Angela. She was my waitress. Uh, we don't have any Angelas working here. Come on, let's go. What do you mean? Angela. She was my waitress for the past half an hour. Sir, is your friend intoxicated? Don't worry, I'm driving. Come on, let's get in the car. No, don't start that shit with me. Angela. She's about this tall. She served me cocoa. I'm sorry, sir. We don't have any Angelas here. Um, we have an Amy. She was just fucking here. Come on, let's go. Sorry about that. Hey, Dino, how come you don't believe in God? What? Why don't you believe in God? What would it take you to believe? I don't know. I was, uh, I was watching this program one time and they were, they were interviewing these people that had near-death experiences and a lot of them kept saying that uh, on the verge of death they were seeing these, these bright lights and, and their old family members and stuff. And after that they were all believers in God and the afterlife and they were so much happier and everything, right? I thought they were all confused and they're just experiencing their hallucinations and whatever. And I never really gave it a second thought until now. And what do you think now? I don't know. Whether it was real or not, it really doesn't matter. It's, I, I just thought it was a shame that it really took them that much just, just to make them believe and that there are so many people out there in this world who will never experience that type of miracle just to push them over the edge into believing, you know? I don't want you to be one of those people, do you know? Understand? Yeah, I do. God damn it! Well, fuck, it looks like we're gonna have to spend the night in the car. So, what do you want? Front of the back. Uh, you can have the back. I'm going to stay up for a while. All right. Dino. Yeah? Night. Yeah, good night. Farewell and adieu, you old Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu, you ladies of Spain. For we've received orders for the sail back to Boston. Uh, so no more. Shall we see you again?
good life. Thanks for sticking it out with me till the very end. You're a true friend and people like you don't come along very often. But I gotta ask one more favor. The back of my sketchbook is my final drawing. Take good care of it and let everyone back home see it. Let them know what happened this last weekend and ask them to remember me. As long as you do that, I'll never die. Thank you. In the most sincerest way, thank you. Remember, you only live once, so make it count. I'll be watching. Take care, old friend. Cameron.
uh, the game. Oh. <laughs> and we're rolling. Don't smile, Joe. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what look you're talking no about. Yeah, I, I know you saw me because I wasn't looking. I was trying to hard. I wasn't trying to hide it. Trying to hard. Okay. We're just over there, past 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you must have seen me because I'm it. So it's sitting in front of me, right? And I, I can't, I, 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 I can't do this. I have to start over. <laughs> What the fuck did you just say? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like she... Are you talking to me? <laughs> oh. Alright, here we go. Ready? I can see your shadow. What did you just say? What the fuck did you just say? To her. To her? <laughs> <laughs> big ones, man. You Fucking want, big ones. You wanna do it again? <laughs> yeah. You wanna do it again? Alright. A little more energy and action. I mean, I gotta admit, that was a pretty ballsy stunt. You gotta have big balls to do something like that. Big balls. Big, big ones. Balls. We're rolling and action. Action. Dude, don't call my mom a bitch. Please. Yeah, but you calling my mom a bitch and me calling my mom a bitch are two completely fucking different things. Boy. What do you want? Missy booted his ass out of the car again. He just to go pick him up. Our women. Can't live with them, still illegal to fuck dogs. <laughs> women. Can't live with them. I'm getting tired of fucking your mom. <laughs> Slimy bastard. <laughs> women. Can't live with them. Good luck. That guy was so fucked up last night, he thought the flying monkeys from the Wizard of Oz were eating his hair. Hey, you got any Fruit Loops? Hey, you got any Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Uh, <laughs> he looks right at the camera. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Somebody look at Javier. <laughs> and, Action. Go ahead, you can say it. You know, I was getting into character. Right. We just come from Bob's. We've been smoking up a storm, and we're fucked up. You already did that line. You just burned me with your I'm cigarette. Sorry, I thought I did. I'm sorry, I have my glasses. I'm <laughs> rolling here. Isn't fucked up in there somewhere? Yeah, throw as many fucked up as you want. Well, you just said I just said that line. Yeah, but you said the part about we're all fucked up. Yeah, that's but, what you told me. But you just said in the last line we're fucked up. You said it the exact same way. All right, we're rolling here. Okay. We're rolling. Just, just keep going. And I'm action. Sorry. Go ahead and do that one. Yeah. <laughs> we're fucked up. We're at Bob's. We drank. We smoked. We're rolling. <laughs> we're rolling. So Bailey and I, we're driving. We're driving. <laughs> Action. So Bailey and I. <laughs> I gotta be okay, dude. The thought hadn't left my head when I see these headlights. Coming up over the road. Coming up over the road. And they're bright. And, and they're, they're bright. And they're gonna pass me. All right, you got it. Yeah. And action. So Bailey's shitting bricks, right? And he's asking me, "What do I do with the sack?" What do I do with the sack? I got a fucking sack here. What do I do with it? <laughs> so I look in the mirror again, and he's bearing down on me fast. There's the line. He's I damn near on top of me. He's damn near on top of me. That was perfect. Other than that, you ready? Here yeah. We go. Well, I don't think it's very believable. I mean, I don't even know any hermaphrodites. Well, how would you know? Because if I if I did, they would tell me. Right, let's try that one more time. Yeah, yeah. Well, if that's the case, I'd have to say, yeah, I would. You sick bastard! You'd suck dick. Well, I'd suck the dick of her, I mean. All right. Okay, <laughs> like, hey, what you doing? Like, you fucking... And action. Thanks. Don't look at me. You got to look at Sam and say, you look right the fuck at the camera. <laughs> it's Lynn. You can expect that kind of thing this time of year. You're surprised how many... <laughs> 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 I'm rolling in Dude, Gabe's laughing, dude. Uh, <laughs> we're rolling. Hold on. Rolling. Okay. Now I'm right back there. Okay. Rolling. Okay. Rolling. <laughs> 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 and action. 
and action. <laughs> action. And action. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, that, that's good. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I mean, it's still great, don't get me wrong. Well, that's just not enough of me. You gotta cut me off. Fuck! 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 Guarantee this fight. Hold on, let's go. Fuck! Whatever uh, somebody wait, says, wait, you gotta wait, wait a couple wait. of seconds. That's fucking great. It's just fantastic. But it's almost three o'clock in the morning. Oh, this is great. <laughs> well, that's fucking great. That's just fantastic. But it's almost three o'clock in the morning. Can soak him. Fuck. <laughs> that's fantastic. I'm really, really happy for you. <laughs> 